We're about to play our first competitive match of our second season, the Austrian FA Cup first round after friendly wins against Amiens, Standard de Liège, Anderlecht. We looked like we were not actually terrible. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Hello, YouTube, baby, baby, baby. Hello, YouTube, baby, baby, baby. Hello, YouTube. Oh, YouTube, I want you to be mine. See, that snuck up on you. You didn't know I was saying hi to YouTube. And then I just... Snuck it in. I just snuck it in. What a huge team we have here today, boys. Unbelievable. We've got, let's see, 11, 13 first-team players ready to rock and roll. Anton Walzer and Ken Krish pulled off the street just in case we need fresh bodies. Uh, if anybody gets hurt, we're screwed, but let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're 2022. Florence Dorfer AC. All right, this is a semi professional, like non league Austrian team in the first round of the FA Cup. So, fortunately, fielding a team this thin, we should just be able to survive it, anyways. Oh, this... he has a great punch by Amberger. Problem is, his teammates seem to be partaking in some tomfoolery. Look, if he hadn't scored against somebody whose last name is reminiscent of a conversation with a Big Mac, that would have been embarrassing. Oliveira. Oh, Jerry! Okay, we're fine. Penalty was given for goalkeeper playing the volleyball. <clears throat> Unacceptable. This is football, lads. Unacceptable. All right, everybody line up. Let's pad the stats here. Allen. Nice ball, Allen. Great ball. Oliveira clucking like a chicken. I feel like that's a little mean. Hey, the pooch. Rafael AI. Nope. And Bakogu with his second. Oh, man. Morandor. What a tier three from Morandor. There's a goal to celebrate from Bruno Piri. He's lost. He's looking for a home. There you go. Just change the level. Rafael AI. Rafael! <gasps> It's world class from the Solomon Island hero, Rafael AI. Ungar, Jerry for the Hattie, got it. Goal! I think we got everything we wanted out of that match except for double digits. That was wonderful. Excellent, excellent work in Bakogu with the hat trick. Rafael AI stealing the show off the bench. Slavisa, uh, Slavisha Radovic. Welcome to the team, Mr. McStud Muffin. <laughs> How you doing, man? Slavisa Radovic joins Mirnas Besirovic as our two right backs, our two right wing backs. Slavisa Radovic. Beautiful. Welcome to the team, Slavisa. Slavisha. Sorry, I'm learning. They got the pronunciation down, though. Slavisha Radovic. We compare him to Mirnas Besirovic or uh, Besirovic. And he's got him barbecued, obviously, in the physical department because Basinovich is getting old, but, you know, he's got him beat in a lot of other respects as well. He's just a better crosser of the ball. Oh, is Radovich a right back? Am I just hallucinating? I signed him, like, a week and a half ago. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, professional gamer. It's going to take a lap. but we'll just be back. We'll be back in a second. It'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, our wide center back on the left that you can't see because his trial ended, Mateo Bruskagin. Woo! And I think even the, because it's a Bruskagin, right? This is an excellent, lovely little wide center back. A guy that can pick out passes, not unathletic, has decent size and intelligence. He's an inverted wing back on the right, but as he ages, an inverted wing back on the right naturally becomes... 
a gifted wide center back, and that is where Bruno Skagin's going to find himself. And so we've got David Bumberger. We've signed Hassan Indam. Please ignore the Twitch friend request I just made. The Twitch phone app is total bobbins. Good luck finding the rest of your squad, Chief. This guy, he's total bobbins. For some reason that reminded me of hobbitses. Ball control, passing, perhaps. Hey, Mirnis, welcome him and welcome one of our other center backs. Please, thank you. All right, a lot of pressure on this one. Oh, yes. This midfielder that we don't know exactly how good he is, but everything we can see makes me think that he's a god. We just put the offer in because he doesn't want a big contract and he doesn't want a giant fee to sign him. Salary of 177000 a year, 73000 up front for Elias Anderson. We didn't have time to scout him because they'd already accepted a transfer for him. And uh, your homeboy has signed. So Elias Anderson wants to join the club. Can he get in and play in this match is my question. He's here. Fly on in, Elias. Fly on in. Oh, yeah, I like this. Super balanced. Super balanced. Plays short, simple passes. Plays one twos and dictates the tempo. Controls the pace of the game. Our team is set. Our set pieces are set. That is Jordan Graham from Birmingham. Yes, it is. Are you ready? For our first Austrian top flight match. You are here for history. We have 18 players now. Plenty. Plenty. Sport Club Rappen Vienna and Florence Dorfer Athletic Club Vienna. A derby of sorts. We're playing the game the way that it was meant to be played at the Fock Plots opening the season. Elias Anderson, who flew into Austria this morning, already on the field with his new club. Jerry, excellent. Schmied down for Oliveira. Right there. All right, we have to invert this so that we aren't looking at a pole. In the Austrian top flight, baby. Oh, Schmied. We needed that run from Jerry. It's a good shot from Oliveira, but if Jerry was ahead of the line with Schmied, it could have been a tap in with a good cross. Is he on? No, he was offside. Okay. Interesting attempt there. Are we glitched to full highlights? Nope. It's just one of those goalkeeper kicks. Great. Yeah, I feel like we've been the better team too, so that's really unfortunate that we just got goalkeeper punt spammed. Nice. Great transition through the lines. Wonderful pass by Mbakogu. Schmidt, Olivero, let's go! Well, we weren't down for very long, huh? We weren't down for very long. Jerry and Bakogu whips it into open space. Schmidt controls it well. Olivera makes the run. He's such, such a big load. Three defenders can't stop him. Put it in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. First goal in the top flight. You know it had to be. Ja Olivera. Oh, my. <sighs> Clearly offside. Excellent call. Excellent call. Ape, hey, uh, but I'm assuming if you're Scottish, we're, uh, we're, we're getting into the AA plus territory. What a ball. Schmidt! Oh, Anthony Schmidt! Stilfer in front in their first top flight match in multiple decades. Anthony Schmidt, what a lovely finish. That's a goal. Let's go right back to him. Right back. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Allen! Welcome back, Alan Cruz. He missed five months with a hip injury. It's his second competitive match, and the hip looks just fine. Electric from Alan Cruz. 
Allen! Oh, what a hit by Allen! Oh, come off it. Really? It's a man's game down in the box. Somebody's gonna end up on the ground. Come on! All right, this game's getting crazy. Let's go. Jamal Blockman. Jamal Blockman. Oh, I just went the wrong way. Man, he's huge though, isn't he? We want island time. In due time. He's a trusted wonder kid. He is the only wonder kid we have. Oh, heavens. And I'm not saying Jamal Blackman has cast some sort of spell on the goal, but he might have cast some sort of spell on this goal. Away. Good header. I don't know what Jamal Blackman was doing. He was in no man's land. What hustle by Bruno Piri. Wins the foul, ends the game. You know what? We got completely outclassed in the second half but we won. We managed it just enough. We signed a good enough goalkeeper. We won. We won the game against Rapid Vienna and we're off to a winning start in the league. That's what matters. Our team is nowhere near complete. Obviously, we're looking to make some more signings, some guys joining the team. And so we need to continue to get results until our team is complete. All right, I think playing high is going to help us in that instance. And we have our team aligned every other way. So it's time for match day two in the top flight of Austria. Match day two in the top flight of Austria. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this bread. Go out and enjoy yourselves tonight. You know, it's going to be a great day. Radovich got Oliveira. Goal! Boom! Slavisha Radovich. Joe Oliveira, this kid's a beast. Allen wants the ball back. Oh my, Allen Cruz, it's a one-man show. That was a great pass. Oliveira, Schmidt making the run to the inside. It's Jerry Mbakogu. <sighs> Dude, Jamal Blackman is a wall. You just can't get by him 1v1. I mean, this is just a lovely bit of passing here. And, uh, you know, we got to be able to get in the way of that. We come to pieces, and then all of a sudden, Jamal Blackman is there to bail us out. One big hand, and he beats it. We're top of the league right now. Come on, Anderson. Bruskagin! Shoot it! Oh, that's just beautiful. That is just beautiful. Ref! 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 Unbelievable. All right, Mirnis Vesinovic. The captain. The skipper. <sighs> Lay it off. Come on, Radovich. You gotta attack that early. Chip it inside. Oh, that is just outrageously beautiful. Goal! That's gorgeous. Radovic holds it in for Oliveira, down for Schmidt. He finds the pocket of space. Literally can't shoot it any better than that. Another month and five more till our Twitch. What do you call two monkeys that share and Amazon an account? Prime mates. Goal! Oh, what about that goal from Martin Resner? And Floridsdorf, who were projected 600 to 1 to win the league, are top of the table in style. Oh, this is in. Just gave him the same free kick again, dude. Come on, Blackman. I want that clean sheet. There you go. Blow the whistle. There it is. 4-0 at home in our second top flight match.
we're building something special here what how was how were those the chances that they were like oh they out xg'd us how what are those what were those free kicks both worth 0.3 who do they have Messi? like what is janino over there somewhere to make that a 0.3 Look, we went out, we won. We're top of the league table right now. Uh, we won't get ahead of ourselves, but, you know, obviously we've proven, and we, we knew this going into the season, but we've proven that we belonged, and we've shown that we've got quality, not just in the, our starting 11, but coming off the bench. Martin Rosner, somebody we're very comfortable having on the field, and he just went out and dropped an absolute dime. So, hey, he is signing today. Prise Kine is signing his deal at 81 and a half for no guaranteed playing time excellent news we've got another right back and we can start him today instead of basirovic we don't even really you know use like he's the worst penalty taker of all time for some reason this dude must have like missed every penalty he's ever taken in his life but he does already speak german which is great cool are you ready for match number three Well, they really packed the stadium. I want you to know we travel so well. That's the away stand right there. Oh, here we go. We drew a center back out. That's what we want. Now we've got to get it into the middle. The center backs aren't there. You've got to deliver. Anderson! Goal! Draw the center back out. Still held the center back at the line. And they definitely don't have the numbers to check Anderson once the center back has followed Schmidt to the end line. Oh, come on, Anderson. On a plate for Bruno! <sighs> Nearly. Oh, Basirovic. He wants this! <laughs> Manis Basirovic! With all the time in the world to wind up, has polished off a beauty of a goal. There you go. Drag it inside. Just need to get inside of that fullback, Schmidt. He's making the run. Oh, Jerry. Good shot. Good shot by Jerry. But Osner. Oh, Anderson. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. <laughs> Unbelievable. Elias Anderson. Couldn't hit that any better. Underscore Alex, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. We only score bangers. All hail the Swede. Way to make them uncomfortable. Make them make that. Oh, wow. That's in. God, Razner, the dude is hurt all the time, but he scores so well when he's in the game. Three wins from three. Blow it away at the top of the league. We've scored three, at least three goals in every single game. Yeah, we're top of the league. It is what it is. We're playing Klagenfurt again. Oh, because it got rescheduled because of Europe. We literally just played Austria Klagenfurt, and now we have to play Austria Klagenfurt again. You won't catch me complaining about that. We beat them 4 nothing the first time we played them. Like, we are ready to rock. Oh, nice. Deep cover at left wing back. There. Javi Vasquez in. Welcome. Javi Vasquez is here. Oliveira, welcome him. Awesome. Did we put him on the B team for some How's reason? Going, dude? Yes. We're going to play him exactly the same way. We've got our set pieces all set up. It's time to rock and roll, baby. We played three league matches and we've won all of them. Let's go get another one. All right, boys. At Klagenfurt. We beat these guys at home. For some reason, we're already playing. Well, because their match got bumped with a... European group stage match. We are playing them again. Radovic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jerry. It's a bad turnover. 
That's a lovely tackle and unfortunate. Pooch is still given too much free reign. Oh, good, good. I want it to come back inside. Those lobbed headers don't work on a two meter tall goalkeeper, so. Really, I really do love Alan Cruz. Apparently he was just terrible at Nashville, but an MLS washed up player is still good enough to really make an impact in the Austrian leagues. Ooh, thank you Blackman. Block it. Oh, good clearance. The six. Oh, Alan. Well, he gets the yellow card basically every game. I'm going to take him out for Rasner in like 13 minutes anyways. The man simply has no balance. Uh, it's just out of sorts defending. I, I thought he was on. Yeah, he was on. This is just shambolic here. I, I mean, it's just not the right shape at all. Mm, that is really close. Oh, he's off. Oh my goodness, they missed the call. Oh, I mean, he was close enough. But that, that is technically a missed call. Take that angle in the end. That was really good passing by them. Well, that was fun. I'm having fun. You guys having fun? That looked like an absolute blast. Well, sorry to do anything if you can't score. And we uh, we just didn't get a good performance from any of our forward players today. Oliveira ended up in a 6.1. Graham came in with a 6.5. Schmidt was just not good. Mbakogu was relevant, but that was it. Not like Anderson was opening up anything. Bazidovic and Radovic weren't opening up anything. Always have faith in Oliveira to deliver, and you know he's just such a key player to what we do. I'm not going to sit here and take Joao Oliveira off the field often. 